Good morning. Welcome to our daily devotion. This is our devotion for Tuesday, April 25th, as we continue to explore this sacrament, this means of grace that we've been given by God called Holy Communion. Today we're going to be looking at the blessings and benefits of Holy Communion. And we're going to first reflect on a reading from 1 Peter chapter 2, where we read, Jesus himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed, for you were straying like sheep, but now you have returned to the shepherd and overseer of your souls. We receive blessings and benefits through Holy Communion, and first and foremost, we have to remember, always remember, that in Holy Communion, we receive once again forgiveness of sins by God. That is part of that sacrament. As we go to the table, Each and every time we receive Holy Communion, we are receiving um, God's forgiveness through Jesus' sacrifice. But it's not just forgiveness we receive, and this is the amazing thing about this sacrament. Because we are told time and time again throughout Scripture that in addition to that forgiveness of sins, we also receive life and salvation. What does that mean? Well, life, we receive eternal life with God. But salvation means that we are saved. We are saved from the brokenness of this world. We are saved from the powers of sin, death, and the devil. We, we are saved through Jesus' sacrifice. And as we, we receive that Holy Communion, we participate in the, that sacrifice and we benefit from it. So our, we have forgiveness of sins and we also have life and salvation. But that's not all. But wait, there's more. We are also given, we're strengthened to live out our new life as children of God. As we go forward to communion, not only do we go forward to have our sins washed away, but through that heavenly food, through Christ's body and blood, the Holy Spirit works in our lives to strengthen us in our faith so that we can be equipped to live more as children of God. Now, partaking in Holy Communion doesn't make us perfect. No, that's not what I'm saying. But it does feed us spiritually. That's why it's so important to participate in Holy Communion when it is offered so that you can be fed. If you're struggling or or if you're questioning something, by all means, still come to the table. Because as long as you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and you believe that his sacrifice is, is present in that sacrament, and you desire to turn away from your sin, you are welcomed at that table. If you are struggling, that's where you should be going. Because if you're struggling, that's where you will go to be fed. The thing is, when we are struggling, wherever we go in that struggle, that's probably going to influence how we end up in the struggle. If I'm struggling to do good or bad, and I go to somebody who's always doing bad, I'm going to probably make the decision to do bad. If I go to somebody who struggles to do good as well, I'm probably going to make the decision to try to do good. When we are struggling in faith, we need to be fed in faith. And we are fed through Holy Communion. (laughs) But wait! There's more. There's a fourth thing that happens when we participate in communion. And we are going to talk about this a little bit later on this week, so I'm not going to go into detail. But when we participate in Holy Communion, we participate in a confession of Jesus Christ and a unity in the gospel. As we go forward and receive that sacrament, we are saying, yes, I believe. Not only do I believe, but I'm also saved by God's amazing grace that's been given to us through... Once again, the sacrament. Yeah, there's a lot of blessings that we receive. And today, I pray that you reflect on those blessings. That as you receive Holy Communion, your sins are forgiven. You are given life and salvation. You you are equipped and strengthened to live out your Christian faith. And you are connected in community and faith to other Christians the world over. That's an amazing thing for a simple meal to do. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your gift of communion, for the forgiveness and life that it offers, for the encouraging and equipping equipping that it does, and for the community that it creates. We would ask you to be with us as we receive it regularly, that we may be fed in faith and connected in fellowship. In your Son's name we pray. Amen. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.